Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Syracuse.com's SOS Spotlight Athlete of the Week. We're lucky today to be joined after school, but before practice by Henniger star basketball player, Rashawn Patterson. Rashawn, thanks for, for joining us. Um, the team has started out 3-0 and this year, uh, so we're off to a fast start. I know it's early, but you're having a, a you know a big role in that fast start. What do you see going right so far for the team? Why uh, why you start up three and zero? Um, just the chemistry with the team. You know, we all get along and hang out, so it's just like we brothers here. Is that surprising? Did you guys talk about before the season started? Hey, yeah, it'll be our year. You no, know, like you have like summer league and fall league and stuff like that, and we just been talking about this for a minute now. Just mm-hmm. being a fan. Now you you come to the uh, basketball team from football, where you were also a uh, defensive lineman and wide receiver. The football team, unfortunately, didn't have quite the success that the basketball team appears to be having. I believe they were zero five. That's kind of a, a tough way to to you know go through a season not winning. Uh, how did you mentally get through that? Because obviously you know you always go out there wanting to win. You didn't win at all. What was the key to kind of get through that season upbeat? Um, personally, you just can't do your best. And you can't really um, think too much about everybody else. Thing you just can give it your all every night, and that's what I do. Can't what did you and your teammates talk about? Because you know every game you go into, so hopeful you have to recover and bounce back pretty quickly. Trying to get too not to get too down. Was there sort of a secret to you know staying optimistic and working hard all year long? Um, yeah, you know, just keep hope. up. just keep a positive mindset, confident. Every game, try like that. Try to boost your teammates up. Did you think a lot about basketball during the football season? Because you knew that as soon as football was over, you have a chance on the basketball court to kind of turn things around a little bit. Was basketball on your mind a lot? No, I focus on one sport at a time. Now you play, uh, you compete in track in the um, in the spring. Uh, for a guy who's six one, you, you move pretty quickly. You're a hundred yard dash guy. Uh, so three sports, you stay busy. Which is your favorite sport and why? Um, I like football because I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I feel like football come a little easier, but I try my best and all. They all help me to get to the next point in life. It's always a challenge because while you do have a little bit of time between seasons, you, you go right from football, which is a very physical sport. You're playing two demanding positions into basketball. Uh, there's not a lot of time for your body to rest. Do, do you feel tired when you're going from football to basketball? Does your body feel kind of beat up a little bit? Some days, but you know, you got to take care of the body first. Take a lot of, um, take a lot of um, ice baths and recovery stuff, you know, just eat right. Well, is there a particular secret? Do you like to get perhaps, you know, eight hours of sleep a night or, you know, sneak in a nap when you can? I mean, how, how how's the rest yeah, of I try to sleep. Sleep is very key for me. I try to sleep and just eat. That's basically what it is in a good stretch. Mm-hmm. Now, when I was talking to your coach about the now we're in basketball season, I asked him to tell me a little about you. And instead of starting out basketball wise, he started out talking about your personality, about how you have an ability to sort of bring people together. You're sort of a you know a glue guy, meaning a guy that you know is a cohesive guy. That's what, that can be a rare talent, especially for someone so young. What do you does that mean being someone who someone who's a blue guy, someone who can bring somebody together? What does that mean to you? It means a lot. Just knowing I have the power to make people come together and believe in one thing and have have to just just to trust in each other to win or do whatever the task is at hand. If everybody could do that, of course, this would you know be a better a better world. But is there is that something that you think maybe you got when you were younger, or where where did that come from? Do you think? I honestly don't know. I think it started when I first started playing sports. It's just communication. That's a big thing with me is communication. You can't do nothing about communicating. Well, do you remember you've been playing sports, I'm sure, for a long time. When did you first start playing competitive sports and what was it? You said when did I start playing basketball? Competitive sports. When did you first start playing competitive Uh sports of any kind? Well, I always played when I was little, but like under the whistle, I didn't start playing um, basketball to like fifth grade. But I played like football my whole life. And did you feel like right away you had the ability to uh, to sort of be kind of a good locker room type of guy? Did it come early or was it something you developed as a later as a high school kid? Um, it was just yeah, later on in high school. Yeah. 
do your friends say that to you a lot that you're just a fun guy to be around i mean how how do you look on that yeah my friends think i'm funny and all that it's not crazy <laughs> are you funny yeah. i guess so i don't really know yeah well then uh getting onto the basketball court uh your coach had more praise for you uh you know sort of a uh high school version of dream and green dream on green of the of the warriors because uh, I asked him what position you played. He said, well, guard, point forward, play some center. You know, so he just, you can bring the ball up, so he does everything. Uh, that's kind of high praise. Tell me about your basketball skills and how you would describe yourself. Um, I feel like I'm just versatile. Whatever tasks need to be done, I could do it. And then really defense, I feel like I could defend any position one through five. And I can get you a bucket at any given time. Do you have a favorite part of the game? Is it blocking a shot or playing defense or hitting a three? I mean, what what well, stands out to you? Defense get the most hype. I like playing defense. Really, because many you know people, young and old, would say scoring, uh, and that's fun, right? But yeah, I don't like playing defense. That's why. You know, what what do you think makes you a good defensive player? Um, just my lateral quickness. How well I can in my reaction time. Do you have a favorite um, NBA player? Um, not really. I watch a lot of players, though, but I don't really have a favorite. I just watch a lot. Do you have a um, – do you ever study a particular player or, or you know, do video work off of NBA guys or college guys? Not really. I watch – I do study, like, a little bit of college, you know, watch – Watch like their practices. You know how to be having like little YouTube where their practices, like practice drills and stuff like that. Just stuff like that. In the springtime, you uh, run track. That's a completely different experience. Hopefully, you're not getting hit or falling, or it's not you know too physically punishing. But you're fast, so that sort of satisfaction in that. I'm curious, just the satisfaction you get out of track compared to perhaps when you're playing basketball, playing football. You know, what, what does track bring you? Track, it's like more, it's a team sport, but more individual. So, like, all you really do is really do have to focus on yourself. So, it's more like, I don't know, I just, it's just exciting running. It's over so quick, too. So, it's not even like it's um a long wait or anticipated or something like that. It's like once the, the gunshot run, and then that's just that. You run for a time. Completely different experience because in football, you're you know catching a pass for a touchdown or on defense, you're hitting somebody. Basketball is a physical game, lots of contact. In track, again, hopefully there, there's little contact. Is it a nice balance? I mean, it, it's just a completely different sort of sense of satisfaction, right? Yeah, of course. Do you know where you'd like to go? I mean, you're good in three sports. Hopefully you can play at the collegiate level. Uh, do, do you know where, like, what you like to pursue athletically? Um, it really don't matter. Whatever school looks at me or wherever, I'm not too picky. I don't have no one dream location. It's just whatever the best option for me. And you said uh, you haven't quite decided yet where you'll be looking at as far as colleges? Mm -hmm. Okay. And as we're just starting the basketball season, what do you think is the realistic expectation uh, for your team this year? What do you, what do you and the guys talk about when you – Talk about what your potential is. Um, you know, we take it the game by game, but and overall, we want to win the whole thing. Sex and old chip or state tip, whatever, however it comes, but we take it game by game. What do you like to do when you're not playing sports? I know that takes up so much of your time, but what is something just completely apart from that that you really like to do? Um, I like to listen to music or catch up on sleep. It's usually like, if I'm not at practice, I'm usually doing schoolwork, school, something like that, or working, something like that. Nothing just too crazy. I don't really be outside a lot, partying and all that. I just be to myself. You probably don't have a lot of free time though, right? Your schedule's crammed with yeah. school, practice, school, practice. Yeah. But that I'm sure that's probably the way you like it, right? Yeah, it is because it's not. I it don't give you a lot of time to think about other things and to do much stuff. So it keep me focused on what I, what the, the overall goal is to get to a college, get a free education, or whatever. Okay. Well, best of luck to that and to your teammates this winter. 
Please join us next week on Syracuse.com's SOS Spotlight Athlete of the Week when we'll have another discussion with a Section 3 athlete. Have a good week, everybody. Stay safe, and we'll talk to you later.